Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. In today's video, let's talk about configuration of IVR on Yaystar S Service PBX. Interactive Voice Response, also known as Auto Attendant, is one of the most popular options for receiving incoming calls. Once it has been enabled, callers will hear voice prompts played by the system indicating them to dial a specific key for the corresponding service or move to the next level. Say, we're going to create this IVR. Thank you for calling Yaystar. Press 1 for sales service, press 2 for technical support, or press 0 for the operator. The first thing needs to be done for preparing a proper IVR is to record the prompt that will be played. Now, let's get to the voice prompt in PBX category. Go for the custom prompt and start setting. Well, there are two methods to record voice prompt. The first one is to record it with our own device and have the audio file uploaded to the PBX from the computer. Just remember that the audio file has to match with the following rule. If the file is too big, though it can still be uploaded, it won't be able to play it properly. Now, let's upload our prompt. The other method is we can use our PBX system to record the prompt directly. Just click on Record New, put in the file name, and assign an extension to record it. The system will give a call to this extension. So just answer the call. The system will indicate us to start. We can start speaking, and it will be recorded. Once it has been finished, the file will be shown on the list. Now, let's get back to the IVR settings and call features. Click on Add to create a new IVR. There's an IVR number, which is generated automatically. We can change it, but just make sure that the number falls within the number range. If we want to change it, go to General Settings and change it here. Back to the IVR settings. Then, we could name the IVR. After that, we will need to choose our prompt to play when a caller gets into the IVR. Click on the arrow. We will see the custom prompt list. Select the one which we've just recorded. Of course, we can add multiple prompts to one single IVR by clicking the plus icon. It seems that we still get something left. Prompt repeat count defines the times of the prompt will be played if no reaction is received from the caller. Response time is the number of seconds to wait before the prompt repeated. Digit timeout is the time limit between each dial when the caller gets into the IVR. All the numbers are totally changeable. Let's keep the default settings here. Then, we have a few options. Means it is allowed for callers to directly dial an internal extension number and reach it instead of following the IVR. Dial branches extensions if multi-site interconnect is enabled. Means it's allowed to dial a branch PBX's extension directly when the multi-site interconnect feature is enabled. If you want to learn more about the multi-site interconnect, check the linked video. And next, dial outbound roads. Callers could dial through the outbound road directly. We also have dial to check voicemail, which is allow the caller to dial asterisk 02 to enter check voicemail menu. Anyway, it's just optional. After the basic setups, we can assign keys to the destination. Click on the key press event. We can start to see how are we going to make the system to react to over different dialed keys. We have numerous choices. Extension, voicemail, call features, fax by email, dial by name, and custom prompt. Dial by name is a destination that allows callers to enter the first three letters of an extension's caller ID name and get connected. Let's set key 1 to sales ring group, key 2 to support queue, and key 0 to the receptionist extension. The system will send the caller to the corresponding destination if the caller dials the right key. We have timeout and invalid option as well. The timeout option could help us to define the system where we shall drop the caller if he fails to dial any key. Invalid defines the destination to send callers if an invalid key has been dialed. And we suggest you set the custom prompt for this. So callers will be reminded that he has pressed an invalid key by mistake. Now, save and apply the settings. 
we can apply the IVR as the destination of any inbound route. Go to the inbound route settings. Choose an inbound route. Set the destination to the IVR. Now, callers who call into this inbound route will be able to listen to the IVR and reach their destinations easily. Alright guys, that was all for our IVR configuration. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.